Saying in the United States, a growing social movement in that country is campaigning for an increase to the minimum wage that would allow them to have a better quality of life. Our correspondent Bianca Perez now with the details. Hundreds of workers gathered outside of the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday morning, accompanied by Senator Bernie Sanders and U.S. Representative Keith Ellison. They announced that they will present a bill to Congress to demand an increase in the minimum wage to $15 an hour. What we are saying loudly and clearly is $7.25 an hour. The current federal minimum wage is a starvation wage. Right. It's got to be raised to a living wage. Right. Many workers agree that anything under the $15 an hour mark is not a livable wage. People often need two to three jobs just to survive. America needs to know that long hours and low pay hurt working women in our families. I work 70 hours a week, Monday through Sunday. I wake up at 6 a.m. to work, the breakfast rush at the Capitol. I clock out at 6 p.m. to start my second shift at KFC. I get home around 1 a.m. in the morning. We work hard every day, and some people are struggling. You see smiles on everyone's faces. I know I greet everyone every day with a smile, and they're like, you're so pleasant. But deep down inside, I'm thinking about how I'm going to pay for tuition for my daughter's dance classes and things of that nature. Some people have argued that 15 an hour is too much of a hike and could result in job losses. However, some cities such as Los Angeles and Seattle have already increased their wages to this rate and their economies continue to be stable. You can't tell me that's too much when the CEO of McDonald's makes $9,000 an hour. You can't tell me it's no much when we, too much we spend billions of dollars on these wars all over here. You can't tell me it's too much when we're giving tax breaks away to these big companies. The last time that there was an increase in the minimum wage was 2009, when it went up by just 70 cents. Bianca Perez, Telesur, Washington, D.C.